Early morning, high in the hills of a remote corner of Uganda, and a new day at Bahanga military training camp. These soldiers have come from Somalia to learn the skills of professional combat from European Union experts. Knowledge they'll take home and use to defend Somalia's transitional government, helping bring stability to a country ruined by nearly two decades of civil war. Abdullah Ibrahim Adam is one of them. He has a very clear reason for wanting to be here. The civil war split his family apart. He lived as a refugee in Kenya. Back in Somalia, his father and little sister were murdered by the Islamic terrorist group Al-Shabaab. When I heard that my sister and my, my father dead, I go back to Somalia. I have to fight until the government stand. Because my father was a policeman, Somalian policeman, before. So I decided to join the government and I want to fight for the people of Somalia, not only my family. Somalia has rapidly deteriorated in the last 20 years. The fighting has driven one and a half million people from their homes, forcing them into camps like these. The EU says it's working hard to meet urgent humanitarian needs, spending 35 million euros just this year on shelter, food and sanitation. But poverty is breeding violence and extremism. Somalia's neighbours are watching with concern. This summer, Somali militants attacked outside its borders for the first time, killing over 70 in Uganda. Uh, George Marc André uh, is the EU representative to Somalia. He says the rest of the world ignores this country at its peril. This attack in, in, in Uganda is a, a, a clear indication that the Somali conflict is spilling uh, out uh, in, uh, uh, in the region and it's, uh, it should be a, a big, big concern for all of us, not only for the region but also for the international community. In the seas off the Somali coast, the EU opens up another front in the fight to create a stable Somalia. The men in the small boats are suspected Somali pirates, a growing force that's terrorizing international shipping. And this is the first ever EU naval force, its mission to deter and prevent acts of piracy. Rear Admiral Jan Turnkist led the force from April to August this year. He says the tactic is working. We have seen that uh, the pirates, they are working further out from the Somali coast. Uh, and that is a sign actually that we are depressing them from their uh, origin uh, working area, if I say so. So the, the coast along the Somali is uh, now, now more, a little more empty than it has been before. This is Mombasa on the Kenyan coast. Kenya and the rest of the region have felt the effects of Somali piracy. It's hurt business and tourism. But now Kenya has a leading role to play in fighting it under an agreement with the EU. Because when they're caught, this is where many Somali piracy suspects end up, in a Kenyan court. These alleged pirates were captured by Spanish forces. All of them for more than nine days. The EU supports Kenya and other countries in the region in prosecuting acts of piracy. It supports the Kenyan justice system with training, costs for interpreters, witness attendants, and improvements to living conditions in prisons. The EU says it's a partnership. Kenya's own security and justice systems bolstered, and the rest of the world knows the prosecutions can be speedy and fair, and justice can be done. At the end of the day, it is intended to send a message that uh, crime does not pay, and it's a deterrence. And at the end of the day, you're not going to get away with it. So it's important that they know that if they're going to go and get themselves involved in piracy, then they're going to be prosecuted. Back at Bahanga training camp, the Somali recruits learn under the watchful eyes of their EU trainers. The EU hopes they'll fight for law and order, and that will spread through the country. A stable Somalia is important, the EU says, not just for the people who live there, but for all of us.